Hey guys, this is my son's PC and he's running out of space. This computer we built it last year. Uh, we put on a, a solid state hard drive with 120 gigabytes. That's pretty much full. That's what he used to run everything. And he has another internal hard drive which is also 120. And that's almost full. And then he has an, inter an external Maxter with 500. That's also full. Uh, so he's crying to me that he wants more space. Uh, so I have this Seagate external hard drive that I don't use. And I'm tired of, the, of him having these hard drives outside. That we use because we swap around other computers and we, use, we watch movies. So we store movies in here and we just plug into any computer we have in the house. Uh, but this one we're going to put it inside his computer. I'm going to show you how to take this apart. And as you all know, this is also an internal hard drive, which is the same thing. They just add adapters and connection to convert it to an external. Uh, since I'm not going to be using this case, I'm not going to be very delicate because it's going to be garbage. Uh, this is, all you need is a screwdriver. And uh, on this particular hard drive is being held by plastic clips, which might break when you pry it off. Uh, so you take your flat screwdriver and you start from any corner and when you hear it click it pops and you keep going across Oops. not that loud, that was me slipping but and you work yourself around it It's very light click because it's very thin plastic. And the. Like that, there you go. And then, got a little more. I think this opens up like a car hood or trunk. There you go. There we go. And then this is what you have your hard drive is inside this casing. This should come out easily. There should be no screws holding it. Uh, let me turn this way so you guys can see. I'm going to try this left handed. I'm not left handed, but for viewing purposes, I'm going to be today. There we go. And slide it right out. And this is the case. This is what makes it external. Put that aside. And your hard drive is in there. Uh, here you have the four shocking absorbing bumper, so when you drop it, it doesn't hit the metal on metal and plastic. It just takes some load off it. And we unscrew these screws right off. One, two, Three, and four. Now, here comes the fun part. Uh, this tape here, probably made to hold it in place or stop some vibration on it. So I'm going to peel it right off. Peel off the edges. There you go. Peel off these edges. I might be able to pull it right out, but I'm going to save the hard drive. So, better be safe than sorry. There we go. Right. The hard drive won't probably come out right easy because there's a screw there. I just saw this. Um, okay, I'm going to the tape. There's two screws. There we go. The screw, Phillips screw is there and a Phillips screw there, and that's part of holding the board that connects to your hard drive, the adapter. So we're going to unscrew that. You can grab it. That's one screw. Thank you. 
casing and here's the other screw. Now this is the board that is connected. Ah, this is the LED light for the external for the power on and off. You could untape it from your hard drive. And then slide this right out. Now that it's out you take your final tape off. You don't need it. And now I have a new internal hard drive. So my son's gonna be happy. He has one gig. It's a Seagate Barracuda. Probably 7200 speed. Uh, it's good enough. He's just gonna use it for storage. Um, let me put it back in. Keep it safe. While well, I'll do the install. Thank you for watching.